26 year old, Sheffield born and bred. I love this city, that's the place to be. Prince I've seen, some people said that I do fight like him, but I don't believe I do. I think that maybe I've took little bits from him and maybe so and been taught the same thing. But I'm my own fighter, uh, I think that I've got my own style. Winning my first major title, it was a British title. It was the first 12 rounder. It was the first time I've talked to Bill. I stopped the guy. Uh, in about in the seventh round, and they were amazing when they strapped that British title around the waist. You know, going out after, and everyone, everyone's there, you're British champion. It, it was it was an amazing feeling. The way it looks, it's so beautiful, and I just think that it's it's the best belt out there. Then you've got to win it and then d defend it three times. I think everyone knows I want to fight card. Everyone wants to see the fight, what can I tell you? I'm the biggest draw in Britain. I'm at chasing me a comp, but I want to get a world title. And you know, I think once I've got a world title, the fight can be made more easily, I think. To be honest, he's the name, win a world title, and you know, it's gonna, it's gonna make for a big massive fight between me and Queen Khan. Winning four nations, a proud moment. The top one, I won gold, and they I got quite choked up because it were, it were a big thing for me to win this. Uh, it were a big occasion and I'm very proud of that. The atmosphere when I boxed at Sheffield Arena, you know, it was the most ever of a boxing front of. I've dreamt about boxing at that arena since, you know, since I've been in here as a young, young kid. War of the Roses, my last fight, you know, it was the, it was the biggest night of my life and, and, and the atmosphere and I walked tight for the 10,000 plus, you know, the air was standing on, on, on my head, I was walking through, soaking it all up, listening to my music, all of the lights, walk, walking out, it was just, you know, it was just epic. You know, he come to win, you know, he really, he really did think he was going to win the fight, but, you know, he ran against me and, uh, you know, I took care of him. Yeah, Carson Jones, he's the, he's the next opponent, the next victim in Sheffield Arena. He's very loud, he's come over here, giving it all big chat what he's going to do to me. He really believes that he's going to come over here and do a job with me, but he's in my city and that ain't going to be happening. He's not leaving there without getting beat up. We just put a cross on his head, to be fair. I'm going to be nasty with this kid, be spiteful, show him all the bosses in there. It's a short and creative boxing. I don't, I don't want to box, you know, certain fighters. I, I want to get in there and really put my skills and everything I've got to the test. The better the opposition is, you know, the better I am. I want to show the world, you know, what, what Kelvin can really do. I want to put food on the table for my family and I think that that's always, that always helps you out in MR5. So I, I won't have it any other way now. I won't have it any other way.